Hey, what's up, guys? This is Evan, also known as AT Lubeck, coming at you with the 18th model of the month video. Make sure to watch this video in full 1080p at 60 frames per second. As you can tell from the title, today I will be reviewing the Gemini Jets Scale 1 to 200 Delta Airlines MD90. I got this model in February of 2015, and this model was first released in 2014. To start off, here's the box. At the top, it says Gemini 200. Below that, we have the Delta logo, followed by the SkyTeam logo. Then we have a picture of the aircraft. And at the bottom, it just says McDonnell Douglas MD-90. And here are the other sides as well. Please feel free to pause to read any of the information. Now let's take a look at this beautiful model. It is eight and a half inches long. And it has a wingspan of six and a half inches. Let's take a closer look. Starting from the front, we have the cockpit windows and the nose of the aircraft, which has lots of detail, including the pitot tubes, as well as the wipers and much more. Next, we have another view of the cockpit windows. Below that, we have the nose landing gear. Then next to that, we have the main boarding door, which has lots of detail, including the SkyTeam logo on it. Then we have the Delta title and the logo. Below that, we have the first class windows, which seats 12 passengers. Moving on, we have more windows, which is all Delta Comfort Plus and seats 25 passengers. Then we lead up to the emergency exit rows over the wing. Starting on the wing, over here we have the emergency exit rows as well as the directional arrows. Then we have the slats and the leading edge which leads up to the wingtip. Here are some more views. Here's a view of the wingtip. In total this aircraft has a wingspan of 107 feet. At the back of the wing we have the ailerons, then we have the flaps as well as the spoilers. Below the wing and fuselage we have the main landing gear. Moving towards the back we have more windows which is all economy and seats 117 passengers. In total this aircraft can accommodate 158 passengers. Up next we have the American flag and then the registration of this aircraft which is November 901 Delta Alpha. Then at the very back we have the rear boarding door. Next we have the engines which are the IAE V2500 engines with a range of 1,992 nautical miles and a cruising speed of 498 miles per hour. They also generate about 25,000 pounds of thrust. At the back we have the vertical and horizontal stabilizer with the current Delta logo. The tail is 30 feet tall and in total this aircraft is 152 feet long. Here is the other side which is exactly the same. Looking at the bottom of the aircraft we have the nose gear followed by some cargo doors. Then we have the main landing gear as well as the Gemini Jets logo. There are also a few antennas and lights. Looking at the top of the aircraft, we have more antennas and lights and the vertical and horizontal stabilizers in the back. So that just about wraps up this model of the month video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please put your suggestions for the next model of the month below and maybe your suggested model will be featured next. This model was suggested by Gemini Bros for Life. Make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe. Link is below. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and check out my ETL Airport website. Links are below. Please check out the last model of the month featuring the Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8. Click the card above or link below. Thank you guys as always for your ongoing support. I greatly appreciate it. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I always subscribe back. Thanks for watching. Peace out.